Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 19. So we left off last time in our very first video and really we spent most of the time in that video just we purchased some land and then we got busy uh, getting some equipment, uh, leasing all of our equipment for right now until we can uh, lower our debt and, and get to a point where we can start to purchase the equipment. But for right now it's all about land and uh, getting started uh, earning some money and getting our horse farm set up and really that is one thing that is uh, playing a little bit of a game with me right now because I really need uh, to get all this of course I could always put the horse farm over the top of this as is but I don't want to do that I want to get that first harvest I mean the the field is already planted and it's so close to harvest in fact if we come back out you can see we're in the darker green but we've got one more stage to go before we reach that first ready to harvest stage and that's all I'm waiting for uh, it would have been great if that field could have been the first one ready to harvest but it turned out to be the field right next to it field number three so a lot has happened actually since um, we ended the first video and I've done uh, quite a bit of testing I wanted to try to get some work done here on this field so I turned the subsolar loose on it and unfortunately that was a complete bust it turns out that the subsolar is actually showing up as cultivating the land not a substitute for plowing because as I walk out here on the land you notice in the bottom right hand corner it needs plowing and it needs lime so even after I ran the subsolar it did not fertilize and it did not uh, show up as an actual substitute for plowing so you live and you learn so I went and took the uh, subsolar back to the store and turned it in so we no longer have that piece of equipment and so now what we need to do is get busy on this lime and plowing as we prepare our field and again all of this is in preparation for the real work that we're going to do setting up our horse farm right over here just as soon as this is ready for the harvest so what I've got back here is another type of fertilizer because it turns out lime needs a certain type of fertilizer if we go in under the shop and we go down to fertilizer technology now of course we originally purchased this one but you can see it only takes the one type of fertilizer the two here in the center actually take an additional type of fertilizer which turns out to be lime so either one of these would actually work I chose to lease the smaller one uh, it says 14,000 liters but it actually shows up in game as 9,000 uh, which is a little bit odd but for our purposes that won't really matter so we've got that here and then after I purchased that I went down to you got a couple of options on how to get your lime um, I chose to go down to the lime stations because I noticed there's a couple of lime stations and maybe more here on the map so I wanted to see okay can I use these uh, since I haven't already purchased this area and all that kind of thing uh, and it turns out yes it works just fine you pay for the lime just like you would uh, if you use the second option uh, which is to simply come down to the shop and purchase big bags worth of the lime so I prefer the lime station because I can pull up next to it and completely fill up without having to worry about the individual bags so that's where we are right now also you notice over here to the side that I have got a plow I went and leased a plow and I got another case tractor because of course I love these tractors and these are great starting tractors for us uh, for our purposes and I got a plow to go with it so what I'm gonna do and I believe I'm doing this in the proper order uh, if I'm not then I guess we'll find out soon enough but I'm going to spread the lime then I'm gonna plow and I think that will take care of everything we need before we actually get into the seeding all right let's see let's I th I'm not sure how far over this is gonna go I think this should be good though so let's get this guy backed up to right about here and let's hire a worker and let's see what happens again the, the line that we have uh, the 9,000 that we currently show in there is not going to go down this guy is simply gonna uh, purchase additional and you can see that money in the top right hand corner is going down uh, quickly so while that's working we'll get the plow started here in a few minutes because the plow will be 
uh, a much more narrow working radius and also much slower. So we're not going to have to worry about catching up to uh, the lime spreader here. But another thing I did is, of course, you can see I went ahead and I finished up working uh, this field as far as uh, getting all of the oats, but then I ran into a problem. Again, because we're sort of out of order in the, the uh, fields that we have that are ready to harvest. And I really didn't have anywhere to put down a silo, so I ended up having to sell off the very first load of oats that I got. So we got a little bit of money from that. And then the second load of oats is what you saw back here in uh, the trailer that we just went by a second ago. And then you can also see I've got a little bit of straw in there. I sold a couple of loads of straw, but again, sort of ran out of time with everything that was going on. So I decided to leave the rest of this straw for now. We're not going to need all that much for the horses anyway, so it was just going to be some extra income. And so we'll miss that a little bit, but again, not going to be a huge issue. Certainly not something I'm going to spend a lot of time worrying about. All right, I'm trying to let this guy get started here. Okay, it looks like he's doing pretty good. Now let's get our plow. Let's actually turn this plow over uh, facing the other direction and get this guy lined up. And you can see this plow is not going to do anywhere near the damage as quickly as, as that fertilizer spreader is. All right, let's go ahead and let's see if we can hire a worker here. Yes, we can. So he's going to pull right up and he's going to start to take care of that. Now, here's the real key. Does it show? Yes, it says needs plowing now. So it does show that the lime is on there. So let's just sort of move around just to make sure up here. In fact, let's try to get ahead of this guy. This is all new to me. I am uh, not familiar with the spreading of lime, when you do it, and how you do it. So I'm learning as we go along. So if you enjoy learning things along with me, uh, feel free to leave any information you might have in the comment section below. That's one of the ways that I learn. All right, so it does look like we are in good shape. Let's actually pull up the map here and let's see what we've got. All right, plowed is what we should be getting and I believe that's what the color is. See here you can see all this is showing cultivated but still needs uh, plowing. So we'll go with it for now. Uh, we got rid of the subsoiler and I think that's going to be the proper move. And now we're busy uh, spreading the lime and and as well as plowing the field. Now this guy over here spreading the lime is going to be done very quickly. Let's get over to him. You can see a couple more passes and he's going to be done. The plowing is what's going to take uh, quite a bit of time, but it does appear as though we've got the right order of doing this. It made the most sense to me that you would do this before plowing uh, or cultivating as the case may be, whichever one you're doing. But in our case, we're not going to be cultivating because the cedar that we're going to get is going to take care of that for us. It's a direct cedar, so we're not going to have to worry about that, uh, the cultivating step. So for that reason, I figured it only made sense to spread the lime before we plow, and it does seem that that is going to work out for us. All right, so I'm going to let these guys go ahead and do their thing. We'll be back a little bit later on when it's time to get busy on field number two. Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 19. So finally, it is time for us to get busy working on field number two. If we bring up uh, the map, you can see we have finally reached that first ready to harvest uh, station. But really the most intriguing thing that has happened is as I was finishing up the work here on the field, and you can see it's already uh, in growing uh, in various stages of growing. So let's actually hop out for a second. We're going to let this guy do his work. So it's the biggest key for us right now is I want him to get probably five or six rows uh, deep into this so that we can start placing some buildings. That's really what I'm interested in. Uh, let's see. I need to get him. Let's go ahead and stop that. And we're going to disable. There we go. Let's go ahead and disable 
uh, the straw. We won't need that uh, on this particular field but because of course this is the only time we're going to be working this particular field. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and hop out. Now, something very interesting happened while the work was going on on field three. We talked about earlier in the video about the lime and then the plowing and, and all of that sort of thing. But something funny happened uh, after that. All that went great. But then as I came in and started to uh, fertilize as well as seed, I was expecting that this was going to be the first of two fertilizing stages I was going to need to do uh, or fertilizing passes. But it turned out I got both of the fertilizing passes in one swoop. And now I understand how that happened. I just didn't think that was possible in game. So if we come in under soil composition, you can see we're in the dark blue, which indicates that we have the second stage of fertilization done as opposed to field number two, which only had one stage and then field number one. Uh, had has had both stages as well. So I was expecting that this was going to be the first stage of fertilization, but as you can see clearly in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, it shows fertilized 100%. And for now, weeds are at 0% as well, although I would imagine that's going to change at some point in the future. So what happened uh, is, of course, we had our setup with the fertilizer on the very front of the tractor and then our uh, our cedar was on the back and as we were going uh, down the different rows of course our fertilizer uh, spreader was was really able to work a much wider working width than was our particular cedar so that worked out good for us because it meant we were getting multiple passes down each and every one of these rows much wider than what we were actually seeding and that ended up with us as you can see as i walk around you can see that this indeed uh took a long time because we've already got a portion of the field that's entered the second stage of growth but the entire field ended up being 100 percent fertilized uh, as opposed to the 50% fertilizing that I was expecting. Something else that uh, has caught my eye since I've had this guy going on field number two is you notice he's backing right over. He's turning in the field and backing right over this grain, but yet it's not any crop destruction that's happening. There's no destruction of the grain as he moves over it. So I'm not sure if that is something that is specific to the harvesters where that happens uh, or what the deal is. But this particular harvester is not damaging any of the crops, even though he is certainly making his turns within the field itself. So I thought that was very interesting. All right, so this field, let's actually go ahead. Let's pull up. I want to see where I can start placing things down. One of the things I really need to place down is our silo. And the reason is right now, of course, we've got, let's, in fact, let's hop in. Let's see. Oh, he's almost full right now. But yet we've only got one trailer over here. And of course, it's still got oats in there because I'm saving those for uh, the horses. So that presents a problem. Do I go and purchase another trailer to fill up with, uh, I believe it's barley that's on this field? And yeah, barley, I see it there now. Or do I simply try to hurry up and get a silo down so that I can dump this out and, and we can move on about our business? So I think what I'm going to do is just try to put down this silo. This might get a little iffy, uh, but we're going to try to squeeze it in here if at all possible because I really, really do not want uh, to go beyond that. Now we got a choice of a couple of different ones here. And this is one of those times where we're, we're not going to be able to lease these buildings. We're going to have to pay the full price uh, for these buildings. So I'm cognizant of our money uh, because I really want to have enough money left to purchase uh, land uh, plot number one. So I think I think what I'm going to go for is, I mean, 100000 is quite a bit of storage here. I think I'm going to go with just the 100000 and save ourselves a little bit of money right now. And let's see, what can we do with this? All right, now if I, if I put this on the grid, uh, that's not going to be good. 
All right, it's showing that it is, yeah, there we go. It doesn't like to collide, I guess, with that straw is, is the issue it's having there. Let's see if we can rotate this thing around. Uh, because what I would not mind having is a situation where we could uh, set it off to the side here. Uh, and I believe we might be able to swing this. Now, it looks like we're going to be right in the way regardless of what we do. And you can see our, <laughs> our guy up here is already stopped. All right, can we fit it about right there? That should be good. Uh, we're not going to be using this entire field, so I'm not terribly worried about the placement. Uh, so I think what I want to do is put it about right there, and we'll go with that. It's not exactly what we were hoping for, but in our particular situation, I think it's about the best we could hope for. So we'll be back to this guy here in just a moment, but right quick, we actually need to come up here and hook up. So again, this is going to uh, limit what we can do up here in this top corner, but that's perfectly fine because I don't have any expectation that we're going to need anywhere near this entire field. Uh, in fact, I'm planning on possibly using uh, a portion of the field on the far side uh, and maybe reseeding it a little bit later on. But we're a little bit away from, from that happening right now. All right, so let's go ahead and dump this off. Maybe. There we go. All right, so we're going to dump that into the silo. That way we've now got our oats, uh, a good amount of oats to get us started with our horses when we get to that particular part. Now we can pull on down and go about our business here with unloading this combine. All right, let's get this guy unloaded so he can get back on his business because we need him to get much further along. And simply what we're going to do with this barley is we're going to take this and sell it because we don't really have any use for uh, the barley outside of uh, earning us a little bit of extra money along the way. I'm a little bit concerned about what this guy's going to do whenever he gets back up to the silo, but I guess we'll just leave that to the game, uh, and hopefully he won't hurt anything. Let's see. I don't think he will. Maybe he can slide by uh, those supports, but I guess we'll find out one way or another. So the first thing we need to do is we need to hop in here and see what the going prices are for uh, barley. And what's our best price? It's actually at the restaurant. Uh, the Central Grain Elevator. Wow, that is a good bit less. All right, so the restaurant, we need to take a look and see exactly where the restaurant is. And if I'm not mistaken, yes, it's right down here. So we're going to queue up the restaurant and actually tag that. So I think this should be a, it's going to be a little bit of a long uh, ride down there, but I think we're actually going to be in good shape because I think that'll give this guy a little bit of time, and hopefully he'll work his way through uh, and around our new silo that we've put up over there. Hopefully he can do that. Also, you notice here on the right, uh, I have gone ahead and purchased the additional uh, mowing width that we're going to need uh, by picking up the two additional side mowers. So we should be in good shape for that. I am counting on purchasing land number one as quickly as we can. But uh, I'm not sure just exactly how, how quickly we're going to be able to do that because you can see we're down to $441,000. And, of course, we've still got uh, some other items to put down. So it might take us a little while before we get to it. All right, so this is, as I mentioned before, this is a very nice looking map. I wish it had some more flatter areas that were good for building, but uh, there's a lot going on. You can go down to the beach right over there. Looks like you can play a little uh, beach volleyball while you're there. Lay out and get some sun. Maybe do a little surfing while you're there. 
we're definitely seeing the results of not having any weight on the front end of the tractor. You can see as, uh, as we were going up the hill that the front tires are just not real happy with this, this uh, setup that we've got right now. So we're gonna go ahead and, and take this load down. And if we bring up a little bit larger version of the map, you can see that we are a little over halfway there. Uh, over here to your right is actually uh, one of the lime stations. This is the one I used. It is right next to us there. It, uh, originally, I thought it was here, the, the water tank uh, looking uh, tower, but it, it turns out it is not. It is the tower over to the side. All right, we're going to head straight for now, and then we'll we'll make a left when we get right on down here, and we'll pick up a little extra cash along the way. Still trying to get used to this map. Uh, you can see there, there's looks like the bank right there on the side. And all right, we need to turn in here. Yes, now we got a little bit of a drive, and you can see the green indicator in the distance. That's where we are headed. Again, a lot of area around here, but just not of not a lot of it is very usable for our purposes. We are now in uh, behind the storefront uh, where we've been before. Let's see, we want to keep going straight. And we should. Now we just need to find the selling point. Uh, it looks like it's going to be on the other side. And let's see if we can get around there without too much trouble. All right. Yeah, there we go. Nice area here. Shouldn't be too hard to get in or out. So we'll go ahead and dump that out. Let's see how much we get from this first load of barley. Of course, we're nowhere near... Uh, a full trailer load of that. So about $3,900 is what we'll take from that. So we should have uh, multiple of those loads actually as we work our way through. So that's certainly nothing to laugh at as we will take all the extra money that we can possibly get. Again, going right back by the storefront and one other thing I'm gonna need to pick up at some point uh, very soon is gonna be a weeder we're gonna need to pick up one of those the good thing is you can get one with a very wide working width somewhere around uh, 12 to 14 maybe even 15 meters uh, without requiring a good bit of of horsepower from your tractor so we should be in good shape there uh, because I'm expecting those weeds to start showing up really just any minute as we progress through the growth stages on field number three. So right now we're just going to head back to uh, field number two and uh, if you notice along the top of the map it does look like that our harvester has managed to make his way around uh, the huge obstacle that we've now placed in his way. Uh, I'm going to keep my eye on him though and just see uh, to make sure he gets to continue on going. But so far it looks like he has made it unscathed. And yeah, there you go. So it looks like he is right on by. But these are some of the uh, the real relaxing times. It's one of the fun things about playing this game for me is I get to drive uh, around the map uh, in various directions and I get to see all of the scenery and it's very relaxing uh, as we're making a little bit of money on the side because once we really get up and going with fields one, two, and three, we're gonna have basically a self-contained horse farm up here and we won't really need to go uh, very many places to get anything because we'll have a water tank and we'll have obviously all of the feed that we're gonna need. Um, and of course we're going to have all of the straw that we'll need for bedding so really everything is going to be taken care of for the horses up here uh, so then there's really nothing left for us to have to go and get the only time we'll really be leaving the area is if we decide to go ahead and and get a trailer and look about what about that perfect timing I was going to try to go around those things 
but the really the only thing we would need to actually leave this area for uh, at this point would be if we decided to purchase a trailer and actually manually sell uh, the horses which I do want to do at least uh, to some extent uh, I'm not not planning on doing that uh, entirely all right let's actually go ahead and park this right here and I want to hop in to our trailer here I think this is actually full of straw if it's not I'm gonna use it to pick up a little bit of this straw that's already out here let's see yes it is actually already full so I'm gonna hop back out and we're gonna go for another placeable uh, silo this time we want the hayloft and let's just see what we can do with this um, again I would prefer let's see where is this thing gonna let us place looks like we might have to go back a little bit farther now nope, it's saying it collides with an object uh, which should not have anything to do with uh, the actual crops on the field reason being uh, I've placed over the top of fully grown crops before so that's not a problem but right now we seem to be having an issue okay I can actually place it right next to that but for some reason I can't place back here all right we'll go ahead and put this well if it will allow me to place this thing all right, the object it's colliding with, I don't know what that is. Maybe it doesn't like it that we've got the combine that close, maybe? All right, it'll allow me to put it right here, so I think I'm just going to go with this. It's certainly not the layout I was looking for, uh, but, but that'll work. We can certainly uh, work with that. All right, let's hop back in and go drop off. Oh, looks like this guy is ready to go, so that'll have to wait. We need to go pick up our trailer once again. So quite a high volume of uh, barley that this guy is, is working with right now. Certainly higher than what we were dealing with with the oats. All right, there we go. And thankfully, he is headed the right direction for us, so we don't have to travel over the crops. All right, there we go. So we'll get this guy emptied out. And then we'll be on our merry way because I want to pick up a little bit more of this straw. It should not be really interfering. Uh, again, if the crops don't interfere with the placement, then I'm not sure why uh, the straw would. But uh, for one reason or another, we haven't... A few issues here and there placing some of these items all right there we go in fact I'm gonna to try to drive over this and try to actually destroy these crops and it kind of worked worked a little bit anyway all right let's go ahead and I'm gonna to have to be careful about I almost drove onto that field it's going to take me a while to get used to the crop destruction being on. I'm just, I'm used to driving right over the top of these fields and not really thinking anything of it. So it's going to be a change for me. All right, there we go. Now we can drop this off and then we're going to go ahead and pick up some of this other straw. And just to remove any potential issues with the collision that this thing is operating with right now. All right, let's go ahead and dump this out. But these two particular buildings uh, between the silo as well as uh, the hay silo is really, really going to help us out uh, going forward. We'll try to keep these uh, fully stocked as we work our way forward. And, and I think that's going to really help us out. All right, are we all empty? Yes, we are. Let's go ahead and see. I want to start down at this end because this is where I really want to make sure we get all of the straw picked up. All right, 
right, let's go ahead and lower that pickup and turn on. Okay, I'm going to set the cruise control. And then we're just going to work our way down a couple of rows here and see if we can't move this. Uh, but again, I'm not sure that this should be causing any collision issues, but something was. And uh, for that reason, might as well, since we've got a hayloft we were going to need to place anyway, we might as well and just go ahead and do this. It's certainly not going to hurt anything to pick up this additional straw because we'll be able to use it at some point or another. Uh, and if it's not for the horses, then who knows? It might be for the bedding for, for any of the other potential animals that we'll be uh, tending to a little bit later on. We've got plenty of room over here uh, to expand out. We're going to have plenty of grass, I think, that we can work with. Uh, we're going to have plenty of oats, I think, for the number of horses we're going to need uh, in order to make some really good money. So I think we're really set up well over here. Again, as I've mentioned uh, before in previous video, it, it the only downside of this area is it is not located uh, centrally nearby the store and, and a lot of the areas where you would sell items. So that we have going against us. But other than that, I think we are in really good shape. So that takes care of nearly all of the straw, if not all of the straw that has been dropped, at least that I can see. All right, so I'm going to turn off the pickup. And let's go ahead and drop this off. You can see that was another 15,000 liters right there. So a very nice nice pickup. There is a ton of straw that gets dropped. Uh, I noticed that with the oats, I only made a few uh, turns through the field and got tons and tons of straw. So it's, it's certainly a way to make some extra money. And I believe I was getting somewhere around two grand um, I think is about right, nineteen hundred dollars to two grand for this, which is the smallest of the uh, actual loading wagons. All right, let's actually. I'm going to run through here and try to do some crop destruction here on purpose. See what that does. Okay, that didn't do much of anything. So crop destruction isn't having a whole lot of effect for right now. Let's go ahead and unhook there from the loading wagon. We won't need it again for a while and I've got a little storage area right over on the side of field three where I'm storing some of the items that uh, particularly items that we're not using all that often uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some storage over there of course we don't own that land so I can't really build anything over there but all I really need more than anything is just some open area to put some things uh, so that it opens us up to uh, so the better ability to uh, maneuver around. Let's actually head into the storefront here. Let's see how close we are to being able to put down our horse paddock. Now we're going to be using uh, the eight horse maximum horse paddock. And let's see, how close are we? We are actually very close. Let's see. And it says it's colliding with an object, which of course right now would be All right, this guy, oh, this should fit perfectly right there. Okay, I like it. I like it. Uh, and it looks like if this guy makes two more passes around, then we should be in good shape. So let's go ahead and back out of that. And we're going to head back up uh, in this direction. And as soon as this guy gets turned around, we're going to hop in there with him uh, next to him and go ahead and fill up uh, with some more barley. That way he can keep going. But I think two more passes will get us what we need out of this. We might as well get all of the barley that we can. This also gives us an opportunity. You look just to the side of the hayloft here. In fact, let's hop out and take a look. You can see the work that was done. Unfortunately, there's no way to keep from this. Uh, a little bit of leveling work, which of course costs money, had to be done uh, on that area of the field. But that's okay for me personally. Uh, that seems a bit excessive, but uh, particularly with the money that you spend on that, but nothing we can do about it, so we'll just live with it and move on. Certainly not the end of the world. 
All right, let's see if this guy will give us what we need. But yeah, I'm certainly thinking that this field number two, we're not going to have to use the entire thing for uh, for our buildings. At least I don't think so. If we end up having to use it all, then that is perfectly fine with me. But I just don't think it's quite going to come to that. Okay, it looks like we're actually going to get a, a full load out of this one before he runs out or very close to it. Yeah, we're right at... We're just ahead of 10,000 now, and we are done. Good news is that should allow him to get plenty far enough along for us to go ahead and place what we need to place. So let's go ahead and get this guy over here out of the way. Okay, I'm going to come back into the storefront, and we're going to take another look at this uh, now that... Oops, wrong one. We don't want the cow pasture. We want the horse pack. And I'm going to hold down C, which snaps to a grid. And, okay, yeah, this one more pass I think is going to be perfect. Uh, once he gets by this little bit of an area here. That should be, this should work out really well. Because I want to put one here and who knows, maybe another one over here next to it eventually uh, but we'll see how it goes horses are very time intensive with uh, the training that you have to do with them riding each one of them for five minutes every day so we'll see how this goes with eight horses and then we'll work our way from there all right right here should be good that'll give us a little bit of room on the back side of the field there to, to maneuver some equipment in and around it. Let's let this guy get out of the collision detection and we should be free to place this. I would think, yeah, there we go. All right, so it's gonna cost us $107,000, which is more than I wanted to spend, but again, not really anything we can do about it. So we're going to go ahead and put this down, and there you have it. Let's actually head over, and you can see exactly what this does and how much area it takes up on the sides. You can see there's a little cutout here. Uh, we're going to be putting uh, some water over in this area as well. In fact, let's go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's see, where was, let's see, was it under silos? No, it was not. Now I've forgotten where I actually saw uh, miscellaneous. There we go, the water station. Uh, also, in the future, I want to put a vehicle workshop around as well. And now you can see that it gives us enough room uh, to drop one of these in, but not if I snap it to the grid. So if I put it something like that, uh, that should be perfectly fine. In fact, let's see, if we go with the grid right about there, I would really want it to be right here, but I think that's going to actually mess things up just a touch. Let's find out. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. So as we come back over here, yeah, it takes just a little bit of the additional grass around the sides, but I'm very happy with this. So now, of course, we're going to need a water trailer in order to finish off having everything that we're going to need to start working with our horses. But we'll wait until next time to do that. So when we come back next time, we will be purchasing some horses. We'll have a water tank over here, a water trailer that we'll need, and we'll start working with our horses and training them in order to make what should be some very nice profits. For now, thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned as we will continue our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 19.